Hello and welcome to our first official lecture for week one, where we're talking about our personal favorite stories. The whole goal of this week is to get you to start thinking like a critic. We're trying to move away from our, not necessarily traditional, but what we're used to doing when it comes to analyzing and thinking about literature and art in general. The majority of the time we think about art, we think about it in an emotional sense. Um, think back to Nabokov's lecture where he says beauty plus pity is the closest we can come to a definition of art. I think that's often how we look at things. We think about it in the fact that it's beautiful, it has a certain aesthetic to it that pleases us emotionally, um, and then there is the pathetic factor, the pity, that empathy that we put into the characters and into the situation that those characters are experiencing uh, that sort of make us enjoy things in a certain way. We watch a movie, we worry for the characters because we're emotionally invested. And now we need to start pulling back away from that emotional connection that we put into art and start trying to come up with objective criteria and sort of a, a new perspective uh, on analyzing and appreciating and evaluating art. So of course the question arises, where do we start? How do we begin to create this criteria that we're going to use to recognize great works of art? And I think we need to start with that question that Nabokov asks himself, so what? If you like a film or you like a book or a story because it made you cry, so what? Why did it make you cry? If you like a movie because it's funny, so what? What makes it funny? You you have to look past those first emotional reasons and start getting at the core of it because there's a reason it makes you laugh. There's a reason it makes you cry, but that's the first level of it. If we start to break it down and say, why am I crying or why am I laughing? Why am I happy in this story? What is the artist doing? How is the artist manipulating me? Right? Now we're starting to get to, a, to an answer that's far more important than just what it does to us. We need to look at things in that deeper level. So that, remember, when an artist is making a work of art, they have a m multitude of choices available to them. Right? They have choices of genre, they have choices of character, they have choices of diction choices, that is to say word choices when they're writing a poem or a play or whatever. Right? There are themes, there's all these things that are used in order to manipulate us as an audience. And that's where you start to need to part, start putting your, your mental focus, right? And definitely start to do that this week as we discuss our personal favorite stories. I have an example up there on the forums of sort of uh, introductory analysis that I'm doing uh, with one of my personal favorite stories, Hills Like White Elephants. Try to start doing that yourself, right? Start to push yourself, get outside your comfort zone, and start thinking more deeply. Um, we're going to have some more definitive criteria in the coming weeks that will sort of help us get there a little easier, but now it's about pushing yourself. So try it. See what you can come up with. So that's it for this week. I will see you next time. Peace.